I'm not racist. But I would prefer it if tribal factions kept to themselves. You get to a point in RimWorld where they're not a threat to your base anymore. They just stack up bodies and worthless items in your base. It's annoying, and I want it to stop. Once again, I'm not racist against tribals. One of our colonists, Salamander, is a tribal. It's time for me to take a reasonable amount of action to address this issue. I'm going to kill every single one. I gather my colonists and equip them with our latest bolt-action rifles. With our technological superiority, we should be able to crush the inferior tribal factions. Upon our arrival at the nearest tribal base, we dug a trench and set up a heavy machine gun turret. My plan is to bait the tribals out of their town into the line of fire of my HMG and soldiers in the trench. Well, that didn't go as planned. I had to tactically retreat after losing several of my people. I might have to rethink how I go about this. We did much better the second time. We killed enough of them to send the survivors running for their lives. Our own tribal member, Salamander, looked like he quite enjoyed executing the downed survivors. Though we have only destroyed one base, the tribal factions will learn to fear us. As of right now, they don't. On their way back home, my military party was ambushed by tribals demanding one of my own as prisoner. I obviously wasn't gonna do that, so we prepared ourselves for a fight. And there was only one enemy. I think he thought that he was the main character. He did have good shooting stats. I might capture him and allow him to help us vanquish the tribal scum from the planet. Oh. Our soldiers moved into position for their next assault. The soldier brick moves a bit slower than the rest, as he lost his leg in an unfortunate wildlife interaction. While our soldiers engaged the tribals at their base, the tribal factions launched a counterattack at our colony. Now this isn't really a problem as they will quickly be dispatched by my killbox, but through my persuasive ways, I convinced a more civilized faction to join our crusade for genocide, and they showed up to help out. We were making progress destroying the tribal bases, but in almost every base raid, my people were injured. In our fourth attack, we lost Fasalo, and our colonist Lotto was injured on our very first mission. It was devastating that veteran soldier Vasalo was killed, but at least we could heal Lada. Ooh. Now we could heal her with the rare items Luciferium or Healer Max Serum. Shh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It is easier this way. On our way back to the base, Salamander died from his wounds. Those subhumans took you from us. Even with my modern army, Injuries are occurring among my soldiers, and some are sadly not surviving. I need to go beyond modernization for my military, and build a futuristic force. With our new weapons and armor, the injuries we sustained in combat were so insignificant we have the capacity to destroy a second disgusting tribal base while our military is deployed. Good news, I've killed off most of the tribal bases near me. Bad news, this has created a new problem. We have to travel further to reach new tribal bases. Longer travel means more resources are required to sustain my army on their deployments, and it increases the chances for mental breaks. To help save time, I built transport pods to send units out on raids but they cost me valuable steel, chem fuel, and components for every launch. I need to research a more reusable way to travel. I built a ship, it's right there. Though it did some damage financially to us, its only reoccurring cost should be chem fuel. 
so you better be worth it. Ha! <laughs> Just in time. It looks like another civilization will pay us to kill some tribals. This quest is a perfect opportunity to test out my new ship. Since it was a small outpost instead of one of the full-size bases we're used to, we made quick work of it and got that money! The best part is we get right back in the ship and travel back to base at incredible speeds. This ship single-handedly is speeding up my racially mo- I mean logical and necessary for the planet slaughter of tribals. The ship also has this really cool feature. I could do a bombing run to soften up the tribal guards before my ground forces engage them in very one-sided combat. As overkill as the bomber is for the technologically inept tribal factions, I personally feel as though it's not overkill enough. I want the tribals to know what true fear is. The fear that a person can only feel when the situation is desperately hopeless. That is what these creatures need. No, what they deserve. And for that, I researched Rimatomics. Rimatomics is a mod for harnessing the power of atoms, blah, blah, you know, moral of the story is it gets me nukes. But to get the nukes that daddy promised me, I have to do a bunch of prerequisites. I have to first go through the basic energy weapons tree. I built a bunch of crap that I don't think I will use. But I don't know for sure as this is my first time using the mod, so I don't know, maybe I will. After finishing energy weapons, the option to research the appropriately named Liberator Nuke is unlocked. But before researching that, I need to build a nuclear reactor. The one thing I do know about the mod is that you will need plutonium to build nukes, and to get plutonium you need spent fuel from reactors. Building the reactor is a long process itself. I need to build a research reactor, a reactor core, a turbine, a cooling system with pipes, a power transformer, and a reactor control computer. It was a lot of work, but now I can turn on my reactor and get my fuel rods prepped for conversion into plutonium. Why, why isn't my reactor generating electricity? Well, it is, but my batteries are unaffected. Oh, I'm dumb as shit. While I'm waiting on my fuel to be depleted in the reactor, I have time to attack a couple tribal bases. Oh, there's so many trees! I wish I brought some incendiary rounds for my bomber. I just have these stupid high explosive rounds. <sighs> oh, make sure to bring some incendiary rounds on my next attack. Well, it doesn't have the dense foliage the other base had, but I brought the incendiary rounds, I'm gonna use the incendiary rounds. Come on! Now the rain's gonna stop my bombs from burning their base down. This mission's just another disappointment. Third time's the charm. Everything went well, and the survivors that were downed and left behind are lined up for me. I have an idea. Oh, come on, they all survived. I just wanna commit war crimes. Is that too much to ask for? After depleting my nuclear fuel, I finally have the resources needed to create plutonium. After putting them in the processor, it's gonna take 14 days? <sighs> well, back to what I do best. While waiting for the plutonium, I was able to send my ground forces to clear out the western side of the world. It was at this point that I realized only three bases remained for the Yellow Tribe, or as the savages call themselves in their heretic tongues, the White Cat Kuro. Knowing that there are only three bases left, I'm gonna do a little attack. I left their last town as I'm wanting to have the survivors gathered in the only remaining blip of their civilization before evaporating their entire culture with the power of the sun. It seems the White Cat Kuro launched one desperate and quite frankly pathetic attempt to save their tribe. No! Walton! Those savages have killed one of our own! We're trying to improve your lives by eradicating all of you! Can't you see that? Right after that, my plutonium finished. It isn't nearly enough to make a nuclear warhead though, so I have to repeat the process and make more. Plutonium creation did give us an unexpected byproduct, nuclear waste. Wait a second, that was expected. A responsible adult, which I am not, would safely store it away from any humans so they don't get sick. 
Luckily for me, I still have some of those transport pods from earlier. So we load up the nuclear waste and ship it to the nearest tribal settlement. My elite scientists and builders assemble the parts for a missile. And once I get more plutonium, we craft a nuclear warhead. The time has come for our first test. Well, it looks like the missile can't reach any tribe. I spent all of this time to make these nukes, and the game is not gonna let me wipe a group of people off the planet. So we tested the missile on pirates instead. Yeah, I would say that was a success. Now, to increase the range of my missiles, I need to build this. But to build a guidance system, we need to gather data, which is a foreign phrase that roughly translates to nuke some people. I have a lot of time on my hands as I have to build another nuke to gather more data for the guidance system. Finally, my third nuke is ready. I don't know where I'm gonna launch it as I killed the two pirate bases near me. What? The range has increased. Some of those backwards tribals are now in range. I don't know how that happened, but we take those. This time I want to send someone to observe the effects of a low yield nuke on tribals, for science or something. So we outfitted Norman with this radiation suit that might protect him? So I hope he survives as he needs to bring back the ship, as that's more important than him. When Norman arrives to observe the cleansing, we launch the Tribal Liquifier 9000. That was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It's like my eyes were blessed by the gods. With the guidance system now complete, the white cat Kuro should watch their backs because they're now within nuclear annihilation range. But first, we have a birthday. Happy birthday, Lengard. We will celebrate the only way we know how. I hope you had a good day, Lengard. Excuse me? Why, why are you sending a traitor? Apparently we're somehow allies, even though we have pushed you to the brink of extinction. Um, oh, okay. I kind of feel bad for them. They wanted to be friends with us, even though soon they're gonna be wiped from the rim world once our plutonium finishes processing. When that plutonium finished, we constructed our fourth warhead, and it was time to eradicate the White Cat Kuro. I feel an overwhelming sense of pride that we're making the world a better place. Our tribe! Oh, wait, hang on, why did I just call us a tribe? Our colony spent the rest of our time launching ground assaults, producing plutonium, giving out free cancer to the tribals with our nuclear waste, and waging a nuclear holocaust until only one tribal base remained. The last tribal base is making their stand in the northern polar ice caps. Oh boy, do I have something special planned for them. You see, until now, I've only used low-yield nukes. There's another option, which is obviously high-yield nukes. Norman equips his radiation suit and boards his new ship. We built a new ship because he will most likely die and we don't want to lose the expensive ship, but we're okay with losing Norman. He takes off and travels as slow as humanly possible towards the base. This is three times speed, by the way. Come on, Norman, speed it up. We got genocide to do. Upon his arrival, we launched the final Liberator nuke. Surprisingly, Norman was only downed and not killed, but we're not gonna rescue you. There's nuclear fallout everywhere. That's way too dangerous. With all the tribals gone, the world will have peace. Our colony will have peace. What the fuck? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video or are a really cool person, you should check out my last video where I played as those disgusting tribals commanded by our gods to build a spaceship without using tamed lightning or those fancy rock throwers. 